Mr. Itere, did you at any instance meet uh, Mr. Waiganjo? The answer is in the negative. I've never met him. Neither have I even ever spoken with the said Waiganjo through a tele my telephone. Two or three was the first time I met Waigajo wearing an inspector uniform and we quarreled with him because we asked him from which chief are you from? How can you come from uh, nowhere and come and join the KPR in Transoia where we don't know your farm, your area and so on. So what happened after you quarreled with him? We quarreled with him, we quarreled, but he just bulldozed. He was just, he was working. He was coming in the morning with his soccer cane, go around, and then he could go to the roadblock. And then... This uh, was in 2003? 2003, 2004. For those two years? And then he, just, he disappeared. Uh, when did he disappear? 2004, May. We did not see him again. When was the next time that you saw him? The next time I saw him was last year, November 23. Okay. He, he came in Kitare. I was taking my tea. The OSPD called me. He told me, Mr. Getao, can you come in my office quickly? What was the name of the OSPD? The OSPD is called Mr. Kemani. He is still there. Okay. So you went to the OCBD's office and what happened? I went to the OCBD's office. I found Mr. Waigajo sitting there. First thing I was, I just found, saw his face. I greeted him. Mr. Waigajo, how, how are you? He told me I'm fine. I've come back. Then the OCBD interfered and told, me, told us. He, he asked me, so you say you know Waigajo? I said yes, he was here. Waigajo wanted his file. I told him, Mr. Waigajo, you know very well you came from Nakuru and you did not have any file here. Now, if you want a file, you can go back to Nakuru and get your file there. After that meeting, at three, he called me, my phone. He has my phone I, and also have his phones. He called me, he told me, Mr. Getao, yes, you refused to eat my goat. Here I have my letter. A lot of anguish, which I underwent, a lot of embarrassment, not only to me individually, but to the service and the nation. And this more so when somebody couldn't really attend a security committee where serious, very sensitive issues are being discussed. It's terrible. He was never deployed anywhere, but he could come and go to where KPR were working. They could go to areas, to Edebes, to Sharangani, and then come back. Just that to show that he is somebody big. He never brought a letter. He just came and the phones were ringing. I have sent Waigajo there. Only that. You yourself, as the in charge of KPR, did the PPO or the deputy PPO, or any other senior officer call you and tell you work with Waikanjo, whether you like it or not? Yeah, the, P, the, the, the then PPO instructed Mr. Mwangi, who was the deputy OCPD, that Waikanjo must work in Transoia. And then we, the KPR, refused him. Did the PPO me? himself call you in particular? He did not call me. I was just a small man. He could not call me. <laughs> Thank you. Did you hear the PPO call Mr. Mwangi in your presence? I had. Um, and you could recognize the voice on the other side of uh, the, the phone that it was the PPO? You can hear somebody talking. You hear somebody talking with the other one. And then after that, Mr. Mwangi could bang the telephone <laughs> and take his cigarette and start 
smoking. <laughs> How would you say your relationship was with your PPO, PPOs? My relationship to all PPOs and formation commanders, because these are the provincial police officers and also formation commanders like the in charge GSU, CID, and stock theft unit, dog unit, kapu, and, and such. It was purely official. How do you drink with a constable and you are the PPO, for example? You are the OCPD, you are drinking with the constable. Ours is a discipline organization. You lose that discipline, then everything goes out of control. Uh, was Waikanjo a man of bad character? Uh, that's what it seems because if you see you see somebody and then the, your your hairs start <laughs> starting, you, 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 there must be something. <laughs>